unfortunately, we've had to come back to Martinique. We're just coming up to the channel crossing, the one from St. Lucia to Martinique. And it's early morning, the sun's just about to come up. And we've got a bit lighter wind today, but it's still giving us pretty good speed. We've got about 15 knots, kind of like at about 60 degrees, apparent. Yeah, we're doing seven now. Going here. Six point five. Seven. Seven point five. <laughs> uh, we're averaging around seven. So we come back to the marina in Le Marine in Martinique. We've got a berth here now, so we will stay for a little time. Well, we've been cruising non-stop now for, for quite a while, since we were in Europe actually. Mm. And uh, yeah, we've got a few cruising plans lined up, so we need to do some work. Need to kind of top up the cruising budget again. And yeah, so we can get set up to cruise onwards. Sam's going to fly back to Australia for a while. It's a little bit difficult to organise and arrange flights at the moment due to you know what, but we're going to try our best. Martinique's a good spot to kind of organise flights from, good connections to Europe and onwards to Australia. Yeah, hopefully it's not too much trouble arranging flights to get back here. Uh, it could be a little difficult getting out of Australia at the moment and it could also be just as difficult getting into France. Mm. But it's uh, yeah good to know that the boat's safe in the marina while I'm gone. And I'm going to stay here on the boat and it's it's not the worst place to stay. It's got really good facilities. The marina is really cheap compared to some of the other places. And we've got lots of boat shops, food's cheap and it's also part of Europe and being European it feels a little bit safer if anything was to happen. For you. For me, not, not you. for me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm going to stay here and hang out and look after the boat while you go to work for a little bit. If you want, make it back. I'll just be cruising on on my own, take on a few backpackers maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> So a little update on uh, what's been happening. Sam is just about to arrive in Martinique. It has been a lot more difficult than we hoped for. 
So he had to first get an exemption from Australia for them to let him leave. Uh, and then he couldn't fly into Martinique because he's from outside EU and they didn't let him go through Paris. So he's had to fly to uh, Antigua, that is open, via the States. And he has joined a sailboat, a French sailboat up there as crew and come down by sea. So we will be arriving here in not too long, so that's good. And we are now entering, or we're now in um, the hurricane season. So the plan is to, when Sam gets back, for him to settle in. We have to smash out a few jobs. We're going to have to do a few few purchases for the Pacific. And I think this is the best place to do that before we move on. And um, yeah, and then we'll probably just hang around here. Um, keep an eye on the weather. If there's any big systems coming, then sail away from it. But we will be looking into heading down to SVG. We really want to yeah, cruise around there. It looks really nice. So that's the plan. So Sam has arrived in Martinique and they are just anchoring out in St. Anne and um, the captain that he's with is going to take him in by dinghy very soon. So I'm waiting. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back! I'm the new captain here. <laughs> yeah, good to have a jack hand back. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back. Oh, it's nice. I think a lot, I think. Oh my god! Hola! Hola! We have a new engine. A Tahatsu 9.8. Wow! We uh, still haven't fitted it yet, but we uh, are going to check it today, see how it goes. What's wrong with the old engine and why we chose to upgrade? So we had a 5, 25 horsepower Yamaha's, and we couldn't really plane on our dinghy. We couldn't get going. It struggled, it was pretty noisy and we wanted something for the Pacific so we were deciding between this, the 9.8 Tahatsu, two stroke and the Yamaha 8, two stroke. And it was came down to the weight the and weight, the price. Yeah. I think the Yamaha 8, two stroke was 27 kilos, 26 kilos and yeah. this is exactly the same but for the almost two extra horsepower. So it was a pretty easy decision for the Pacific. We wanted something a bit more powerful. We've only got a small dinghy, but we want to be able to kind of get longer distances out to the anchorage at night, have a bit more freedom so we can go a bit further. Yeah. Possibly uh, go for a surf and go fishing. Yeah. So this is the new 9.8. It's pretty similar in size to our five. It's just the shaft is a little bit, a little bit bigger, a bit bigger prop. But the, the housing and the weight are pretty similar actually, so it should be a lot more powerful for its weight. Oh, it looks so shiny. I'm gonna have to make it a little bit a uh, bit more scrubby looking so no one wants to steal it. Uh, we're pretty happy with it. Really excited to test it out on the little dinghy. It's a very small dinghy. It's 2.4 meters. 2.4. <laughs> With a maximum of 8, we've got 9.8, so it should be buzzing along pretty quick, I reckon. The gear lever is so good compared to the last engine. It's really free. It's a freshy. It's really quiet. Oh my god, it's crazy. The five horsepower was so loud. Oh, so that's really quiet, yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minute, minutes in idle to run it in. Maiden trip. So quiet. It is really quiet. You can actually it's talk. Ridiculous. Sneak around everywhere. Yeah, we have to uh, drive.
drive it in, or what do you call it? Uh, run it, yeah, run it in, break Bra it in. Break it in. We are leaving the marina, finally. And Sam's just filling up the tank. Engine's running good. Sounds all right. Just had a little break. Everything's really fine. So we're just about to leave the marina and go out to the anchorage in La Marina. What are you doing? Opening up our sup. What are you reading the instructions <laughs> on how to do it? Warning. Read instructions first. Ooh la la. Look at that. Nice. Do you want to tell me about the specs? <laughs> it's from Decathlon, so it was cheap. Important safety instructions. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Stand up paddling is a hazardous sport. Do not over inflate the product, otherwise, it will become over inflated and possibly explode. <laughs> <laughs> Check. Wear a helmet to protect your head. <laughs> From what? The water. Wear a helmet. Check the weather forecast. <laughs> Find out the conditions of the sea. <laughs> Predict wind. Can you help me out here? I'm about to go for a stand up. Have we gone through it all so we can pump it up? Train with a qualified SUP instructor and develop your experience in controlled situations. What is it? broken hose first time we used it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god it's leaking. Come on. Just jump on it. <laughs> that was gracious. Jump. Run, run. Hey. <laughs> Find a more experienced paddle buddy. Like the instruction set. We are sailing to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Woo! So we're going to sail this afternoon and this is our last morning in Martinique. So we're going to go into town now and uh, do our COVID tests and then just get the boat ready and um, set off. We need to bring all our documents and check out. And we have the boat fully stocked up with food and wine and all the good stuff from Martinique because it's a bit cheaper here than the other islands. Everything is just packed and the fridge, I can't find anything. It's just been, yeah, dumped in there, overflowing. And our spare cabin is just for alcohol at the moment. How was it? Not good. <laughs> How was the COVID test? Oh, it was horrible. It was so painful. It was like a three inch stick just shoved up your nose and twisted around. It was the worst experience ever. It kept going. It went up and it kept going up and it kept twisting it and... It just didn't stop. Oh, I feel like there's a hole in my brain. <laughs> 